good afternoon um i'm just doing my postcard i'm doing the um cool kooky creatures so along i think it's called uh postcard sale so um it's to go with my ed sheeran here <laughs> leo um yeah so i'm decided i'm gonna do a fox it's roughly about the right size don't want to go any bigger than that um i've made it bigger because uh the actual background because um, it does shrink a bit. I'm going to have a go at felting. I haven't done felting for ages. I think you can just about see it's not a very good outline, but anyway. Um, and he's going to have to be black and brown. Uh, sorry, white and brown, because that's the only fleece that I've got. So I thought I'd bring you with me. <laughs> it's going to be all about the shading, and I'm, yeah, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, make a start and... Um, take you with me so i think i'm just gonna get out one needle for now i'll try to remember where i got this um punch needle thingy from because you can just put your own needles in but i seriously cannot remember where i got it so anyway we'll have a go might be foxy might look like nothing like a fox but we shall see I will probably speed quite a bit of this up because it's going to be very boring otherwise. And we'll see how we go. forgot to say the um, prompt is oh my ears and whiskers so it was finding I was going to do a cat but I thought mm, a bit obvious <laughs> so I thought I just google searched animals with whiskers I was going to do a seal um, but they don't have you know very pronounced ears and as that's part of the thing I thought mm, no I better not so um, I thought oh I'll do a fox well kind of It'll be a creature of some sort. Let's put it like that. All right, fast forward again. Trying to find the exact right bit for this ear was um, interesting actually because I know I wanted it black in the middle and white on the outside so um, that's why I took that other piece away because it wasn't quite right and also getting them pointy they did not want to go pointy. <laughs> using the uh, colour of the uh, fleece here to give it some depth and shadow um, and some shape as well really so I think it kind of worked but it definitely ended up looking like a husky and not a fox never mind it can be a husky
Tried to find the right bit for his nose here, and that kind of worked. And then just going around and shaping. And this is his mouth, which I think I've got in the right place. Mm. It certainly looks right to me, so. And then that piece of white just happened to have that black bit on it, and I thought, perfect, we'll make that the um, the uh, eyelid or the eye. Which again, I think I've got just in the right place. So uh, yeah, I was pleased with that. Still trying to get those ears pointy. They absolutely refused. But using the needle now just to go around and add, you know, sort of tidy up the edges and make it a little bit more defined, if you like. Um, yeah, it's coming along all right. Again, trying to make pointy ears. <laughs> it wasn't going to have it. And darkening up the inside of the ears. Let the video run now. I think I'll call it a husky. <laughs> it's more like a husky than it is a, a, a fox. So maybe we'll do a husky instead. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh dear. I amuse myself if nobody else. <laughs> yeah, that fleece, by the way, is Jacob's um, fleece. It's off the Jacob's sheep. So it's brown and black and white. But that is raw it's very sheepy um yeah it's straight off the um straight off the sheep basically off the carder well there we are i think we'll call it a husky because it's nothing like a fox i just didn't have the colors and i didn't want to have to go out and buy um uh any more wool so um We'll go with the husky. Right, so I'll do that for now and then I'm going to trim it to size, trim all these edges up and we'll put in some embroidery. I think, I think I've changed my mind. He's not a fox. He looks very much like my daughter's dog. <laughs> Strangely. If he'd have been in um, browns and that, he'd have been all right. But. Right, stop before you overwork it. Right, okay, so there we are for now. Yeah, it's definitely a husky. I'm looking at it through the camera and I'm like, mm, yeah, that's a dog. Right, I'll bring you back for the next bit in a little while. All right, bye.